Hi internet! This one might be a bit weird. Reasons why Dan's a Do you ever have elaborate daydreams about your friends and family dying horribly, or feel the urge to throw yourself of high places, or at random moments suddenly become aware that you have the power to kill? Because I do. Right, before you all call the police, let me explain, okay? Because I can't be the only one with these thoughts. One of you out there must know what I'm talking about. For example, I'll start daydreaming and my mind will wander down a rabbit hole into some horrific scenario. What would happen if I was in a plane crash? What would happen if a bear got in my house? What would happen if my friend had a heart attack? Which I then imagine in extremely vivid detail from start to finish. Please turn off all electronic devices. <laughs> yeah right, I'm in the middle of a gym battle. Was it worth it? Yes, my chest been evolved. <sighs> Oh boy, is it the pizza? Oh my god! Oh, is the pizza here? <gasps> Run! <gasps> what? <laughs> ah, my face! Okay, I think you might want to slow down. You've had enough crisps. <laughs> One more won't kill me. What's wrong? Oh, yeah, I never learned how to do CPR. No, his death is on my hands. Why? You then spend the next five minutes looking totally shell-shocked because you managed to traumatize yourself with your own brain. Are you okay? Huh? Did I ever tell you how much you mean to me? What? Why do we do this to ourselves? I'm not sure, but... At least it makes me text people back. But that's not all, okay? Something I personally find much more worrying is when I think about how easy it would be to murder someone. Uh, Becky, why did you unfriend me on Facebook? I could push her. What? I'm not going to, but I could. Right now, if I wanted to, I could just push her and she would die. But I'm not going to. Okay. You obviously never would, but you realise in that moment that you have power over life and death. Dan, can you put the knife back in the cupboard? I could kill you. I could kill you right now. I could just totally stab you, but I won't do that because obviously I would never do that and I don't want to, but I could. Dan? Well, sorry, uh, knife. Knife goes in here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. Let's not psychoanalyze that one. But honestly, the thing that worries me the most inside my mind is when I get the uncontrollable urge to self-destruct. I remember once as a kid, I was sitting by a lake with a friend and as I was staring into the black abyss of the water, she said to me, are you feeling an urge to throw your Game Boy into the water? And I was like, yes, yes I do, I so do, but obviously I don't want to do that, so what the hell? It's a thing, it's a thing. Right, this wouldn't be a Dan is not on fire video if I didn't make some unnecessarily deep point about something. There is a French term called Le Pelle du Vide, which means the call of the void. You know when you're at the top of a tall building and a voice inside your head is saying, Do it, do it, jump off. Yeah. It's that, how weird, right? Apparently, it's our brain's way of taking control of a situation. So if there's ever an opportunity to completely annihilate yourself, you will always find it strangely appealing because it is the strongest choice you can make in that situation. So basically, we've evolved to rather just nope out of a situation than have to think about it. No wonder I never did any homework. So there we go, that is what's going on inside my mind, and the next time you feel like contemplating death, destruction or murder, you'll know it's perfectly normal. It's the Sexy End Screen Dance! If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of me, then you can click here if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel to be told when I make a new video. Come join the club! The club of people who probably shouldn't be allowed to interact with society. <laughs> and in case you missed it, you can click here to watch my last video. Okay, well I think I'm gonna go sit in the corner and worry about my sanity. See you next week!